Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare here in my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing and trying on the Vice X Anklutz Super Mega Ultra Curl Mascara. So yeah, they just released this mascara a week ago and yes, medyo late na ako to the party. I'm going to be doing a wear test in this video as well. I'll try it for as long as I can, like at least 8 hours of wear test. So in my channel, I like talking about new makeup. I like trying on different makeup. I like playing with makeup, especially colorful makeup. But then I know that this passion of mine, with reviewing makeup and skincare, it has an impact on my financial health. So I'm really trying really hard to control my spending. I don't want to overspend. And so yeah, that is what my channel is all about. So if you're into that type of content, please do subscribe to my channel as well as clicking on that notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. <laughs> now let's get started. All right guys, so yeah, please do not mind my hair. It feels like I am I have a mullet right now, pero wala, wala akong mullet, and my brows are kind of funky. Like this is the most like intense brow that I ever had right now. Moving on to the product, this is Vice X Anxiety Super Mega Ultra Curl Mascara, which is said to be volume and lengthening a mascara. Siya. So it has eight grams. It's made in Korea. Seems to be water resistant, volumizing, and lengthening. It didn't, you know, promise naman na X amount of hours of wear without flaking, no, no something like that. It has the ingredients at the back. It comes in this yellow tube, tube siya na mascara. You can see na it's kind of curled in this, it's curled like this. And it kind of tapers doon sa end. Natural bristles lang siya. It's not one of those silicone brushes. And it retails for 295 pesos. I think the price is okay for a mascara because usually it's around 500 pesos or sometimes it goes on sale. My favorite mascara are the Asian mascaras like Korean or Japanese uh, mascaras and they usually retail for like 500 to 800 pesos. Really happy that Ice Cosmetics and Mama Ann released a local mascara because it's something that I think is lacking So market. Natin, not a lot of brands release mascaras. I tried two local mascaras na and they didn't really impress me. Actually, they made it to my worst makeup of 2020. If you want to find out what those mascaras are, I'll link it here and I'll link it down below. I'm not really familiar with other mascara brands. I mostly I get my mascara from either CoverGirl, uh, Maybelline. I don't. I have not tried high-end mascaras because I don't want to buy expensive mascaras and then throw them out after like three months, six months. It's really a struggle for me to find a good mascara. Um, I usually go for waterproof mascaras because yun yung nag hold talaga ng lashes ko. I really rely on false lashes to give me that flirty lash look. I'm hoping na with this mascara, it would give me length, it would give me volume, and it will be able to hold my curl. To be honest, ang pinaka-priority ko talaga is to hold the curls. Kasi at the end of the day, when it's not gonna curl, it's gonna shoot straight lang, so I will lose that definition. And then, it would make my eyes appear smaller. And aside from that, mas prone siya to migration. Like, here dun sa lower lash line ko, my eyes are watery in general because I do have allergies. So yeah, that's the problem that I have with mascaras currently. The one that I am using right now is the Ferencos uh, Tattoo Mascara. Th these hold my curls decent. It gives me a little bit of length, not so much on the volume department, but it is very black and waterproof. And um, on its own, I still feel like I need false lashes. It doesn't give me that vava boom lashes. I think at least the benchmark neto is to be better than this one. I'll show you my lashes when they're not curled and then curled, and then we'll build it to three layers at least, and then see how it goes. So yeah, these are my lashes uncurled, if you can see. They are super duper short and they just shoot straight. Okay, so this is what my eyelashes look like when they're curled, pero wala pa mascara. So I'm going to keep this lash 
not mascara at up to three layers so that we can compare no uh, again it's a dryer formula very lightweight I did not feel any heaviness in the first layer and then I'm just gonna you know separate it Ayan. can you see I think that looks that's doing well so far I'm just going to put a little bit and jiggle and then I gotta get it on the lower lash line. Okay, so this is the first coat for me. So you can see my lashes are more defined here. I definitely need another coat. I feel like as I don't think that this is, you know, enough for me. As much as possible, I want this to look like falsies. Mascara is definitely lightweight, as in I'm not feeling any difference in sa this lash and this lash, except for like looking really more defined yung lashes ko. I cannot wait to put another coat in this lash, so this is the super curl <laughs> lash, and then ito yung mega curl, and then mama ultra curl. So okay, this is the second coat. Second coat, it looks like I'm going to put mascara, but this is what it looks like. I put also another coat that's a lower lash line coat, and then like one more coat in this lid. So I'm going to move on this side so you can see. I feel like it did lengthen it. My counting curl, but in sha. So now let's move on to the final final curl. I just really hope na you know magbuka siyang falsies at least. I'm just gonna do this. I'm putting a lot more dun sa base for a thicker siya. and then squiggle it out. Uh, I hope that this doesn't look spidery or something. So this is the third coat, and I think this is the best looking lashes that I've ever had with just mascara alone. It kind of looks almost spidery on the cusp of becoming spidery. So yeah, if you could see the difference on its own, sobrang kla yung mas prefer ko to, syempre, than my normal lash. Like this is this is something that I actually could dig. Like if I'm going to work long, three coats of mascara though. I think kaya. Like I can go get by two and then three, but not definitely not one coat of mascara. And I really like it. Okay, so this is the mascara with three coats on on both eyes. This eye is kind of more curled than this one. I'm not really sure why. Yeah, my lashes are so difficult lang talaga. Right now, it's what? 1.49 p.m. So I'm going to be wearing this Siguro like at least eight hours. I'm not really sure how far I can stretch this. No, we're tested for you to see how well they last on my eyes. If nag droop down the shot towards the end of the day, and ayon, and I'll come back in a little bit, and then we can talk about what I really feel about this mascara. A few moments later, I got curious as well. Kung Ano ba talaga to? Like, is it waterproof or water resistant? So, I have three marks here. This is the Super Mega Ultra Curl Mascara ng Vice Cosmetics. This one is the Forencos Mascara, the one that I have. So, this is really waterproof. Matag mahirap to tanggalin. And then, this one too is the Voluminous Lash Paradise ng L'Oreal. So, this is also waterproof. But this one is water resistant. So I just want to find out like what makes it different. So I have here um, 
the sprayer bottle from my sister. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water on these markings. So I'm going to spray like two sprays just to simulate me crying, the humidity, the sweat, and all that stuff. I just wanna find out really. <laughs> so okay. So that was like three sprays and it seems like this one is not you know melting or whatever i don't know if you can see that but it's not completely beating up not like these two Dun sa baba, parang, can you see na parang absorb niya yung water um it's not melting or whatever but it is kind of you know absorb niya slightly i'm going to do this okay the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is smudging, but it is flaking out. I've had these markings for a while, no? Ito, this is the Forencos, matibay. Yeah, no, it's just flaking, no? And then this one is the um, mascara from Vice Cosmetics. So, yeah, and you could see na it is creating this film, pero it's not, you know, like yung luha ng ink or something so with this type of mascara as you can see from the demonstration with this formula it looks feels like a tubing mascara so what it does is that it coats the lashes with polymers water resistant kasi la so pag nabasa yan hindi naman siya agad agad na magmelt or magmamigrate sa face mo unless you rubbed it so it is forming that sort of film and what it does is that magbilis lang siya matanggal so it's kind of the best of both worlds waterproof mascaras being too hard to remove um, with this one kasi madali lang siya with just warm water and then you pull it out from your lashes one hour later hi guys okay so it's finally 9 9 53 p.m so i've been wearing this makeup for eight hours now and so na maligo i swear naligo na ako slightly so i introduced you know a bit of humidity in my makeup so Ayana, my it got melted somehow, but anyway, let's zoom in and investigate on the mascara. How well did it perform? So okay, this is the mascara right now, and I could still say that this eye is still perky. <laughs> it could still hold my curl, like it, you, if, as you can see, you can still hold my curl. Itong eye naman talaga, you know, is kind of problematic naman na talaga. Maybe it's how I curled my lashes, you know. Honestly, when I've been wearing this, it's not droopy. It's super lightweight. As in, I don't feel anything. Anything that's making my eyes feel heavy. Ayan, it's still holding up very well. Yeah, I'm really happy that it was able to hold my curl for a very long time and wala naman ako na experience of flakiness, smudging, or whatever. Flake, it didn't, you know, made a mess when I was applying this at all. It is kind of a drier formula. Hindi siya, you know, messy. I'm really happy and, to be honest, impressed with how this performs. I did see length. I did see a little bit of volume with my mascara. And I did see holding up the curls nung lashes ko. It's amazing. I mean, I would still wear false lashes, to be honest. But on its own, I really like this. Like, maganda na, maganda na siya. I like how my lashes look. It's not false lashes-like. But it really looks good. Like, I've never seen my lashes look this good. Siguro sa akin, what I would do, like my preference ko is three coats dun sa top and then two coats lang sa bottom. Cause I feel like three coats dun sa bottom is kind of like too much. Did it beat this one for me? I would say yes. I think that this is my new favorite mascara for now. And the fact na hindi siya mahirap tanggalin is a huge, huge plus for me. It is water resistant lang. So hindi naman siya mag melt no. Pero parang wag mo lang i rub yung eyes mo. Like as much as possible, you know, dry your eyes if you did cry with a Q-tip or some tissue in your inner corner, but you don't, you know, touch your lashes when it's dry. Because if you rub off, mo siya, it's going to the film dun sa lashes mo will get removed. I do like waterproof mascaras because the hold is just impeccable, but it's such a pain in the butt to remove at night. As in, na na lalagas talaga yung lashes ko, so 
I'm really happy that I found this one na and the price is reasonable and I'm really happy that I found a local brand of mascara that I could get by because I really like supporting local. So yeah, that's it for my video guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned a lot. I know this is pretty long for just reviewing a mascara but I want this to be beefy. I, I wanted this to be a beefy video for you guys if you're curious so that I could answer most of your questions. If in case, syempre, hindi ko na answer yung mga questions niyo, just leave a comment down below and I would be glad to answer them for you. So, ayan, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!